disconnect for a second. What does that do right now? Should I'd expect so. Wait, what? I can't even... It may be a rather difficult puzzle for us to solve. Pulling on her mother's clothes? Mom? Mom? More voices. I'm, I'm, I'm tired, I'm tired of, eating of eating dinner alone, alone, alone all the time. time. It's always, it's always just convenient, convenient for bentos. bentos. I want to I go, go somewhere. somewhere. Take me, Take on, me a on a trip. The one clinging to her mother would be Futaba-chan, right? Don't, don't be, so, be selfish. so selfish. You know, you I'm, know working I'm working hard, hard to support... To support oh, oh. Is that the maternity neurosis the voice from earlier mentioned? I thought it was pretty normal for a child to want to spend time with their parents, though. Yeah, looks like Futaba was a pretty lonely kid growing up. So these incidents compounded, forcing her mother to suicide. I must die. Huh? I killed her. That's why I'm here in this tomb. Don't say that! I will die. Tabachan! Why'd she get so quiet all of a sudden? What happened to that snarky personality? Could her heart perhaps be growing weaker? We have to hurry and save her! This ain't opening. Think there's a way to open it somewhere else? Hmm. No, you're just gonna have to try harder, this bro. This door... It looks familiar. Oh, Futaba's room! 
That's it! Why ain't it opening? It must be her cognition that no one can enter it. I'm surprised that you made it this far. Beyond lies the Pharaoh's chamber. So the treasure's still here? Indeed. However, you need my permission to open this door. Then open it for us! I cannot. You must have her invite you in. What the F? Ain't this your palace? What's she mean, Mona? The shadow is Futaba, but not Futaba herself. In other words, we need the real Futaba's permission. So we need to have Futaba-chan open her room and let us in? Considering that you made it all the way here, you may be able to do it. I guess we gotta return to reality for now. But I remember Boss saying that she won't let anyone in. Right. She's a serious shut-in. How will we convince her to allow us entry? Standing around here won't help. We'll just have to give it a try. That's what she wants, after all. I think that we should do it too, even if it means we have to force ourselves in. Someone sure is stoked about this. Hmm. We have no choice but to sneak in again. Joker, it's your call when we do this. Make sure you think of some excuses just in case Boss catches us. Uh, he won't catch us, because I'm gonna Someone catch sure is confident for no reason. Got an ice pick. On that note, is everyone clear on what needs doing? Yes. Oh, that reminds me. Give me the calling card. The one Alibaba sent us. Alibaba. What are you going to do with it? We're the Phantom Thieves, you know. We gotta announce this. If the treasure's there when we get the room open, given this tour will let us take it right away. Queen, help me think of what to write. Queen. I suppose. We got this covered. You decide on a good time we barge into a room. That's all you. Hell yeah, dog. Let's do this like door thing. your place. Come inside. We've much to discuss. Why should you start with know your place? Jesus Christ. Less aggressive. I'm co I was coming anyway. There you are, inmate. Our master admires the progress of your rehabilitation, and hence has given you use of a special ritual. It's the gallows, used to strengthen persona abilities. Any further questions regarding this ritual can be directed toward our master himself. He's apparently gonna consider making even more rituals if your rehabilitation goes as planned. Work hard for it, inmate! Alright, let's do it. What is it? You're certain. You're certain. Justine! You handle registration? Are you sure? The inmate will change your mind. Your turn, Caroline. Oh, I got a guy in there. The inmate needs our guidance. Power requires sacrifice. this doing? Oh, I'm sacrificing this guy to strengthen somebody else. Power requires sacrifice. Should I do it? Should I sacrifice an drops? Let's execute him! Now choose! Level 34. You okay with this? 
Oh, I'll get seven levels? I probably should do this. Yeah, I probably should do this, unfortunately. Select the skills you'd like to inherit. Significant, my, my. Not quite what I was expecting. How you doing? Um, okay, this still works, I guess. Uh, it's Hermit, so it's a lower level, but I still get the same type coverage. The mag magic status crap, though. Fusion. Requires sacrifice. Some modification, huh? You change your mind? Done already? What? It is time, inmate. Point in thinking about it now, though. We have to do it. Once you've made up your mind, just give the order as usual at the hideout. Exclamation point. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. That's... Oh shit! The fuck are all those? Those bits. You just donate them. Forty-seven bits. Thank you so much, Mr. Fortune. I appreciate that. That's a lot of bits. <laughs> is it gonna go 47 times? I hope it does. Oh no. <laughs> oh, well, thanks. Appreciate that. Um, let's see what else I got. A war? Yo, what? No, please. Can I even do anything? I don't think I can. Hey! I wish it was gonna go off 47 times. I think I just have to go to bed, right? Can I work out? Hey! God damn. I don't have the, the massage from the teacher yet. I don't think. Yeah, no. What about the plan? Nice! The plan? Well then! Dream that EY and I went to the beach and somehow ended up lost and alone at sea. I'm glad that that was a, just a dream. EY? If I started hanging out with EY? <laughs> you know, because I'm drunk and I love Persona 5. And I kind of like you. Oh! Well, thank you, Mr. Fortune. I appreciate you. 
first time viewing? I appreciate the fuck out of you. Yo, stay drunk on it. Yo, drunk on a Monday night, I love it. Okay, I have to get the persona. Or I'll lose it. Okay, so that's gonna be the first thing I do. care of them. You want to release it? Yeah. Looks even stronger now. You want to let it out? Wow, cool. Make a choice, inmate. Needs our guidance. You wish to perform an execution, gather them. Oh, I don't know if I ever made Necro Shogun, but I can now. Or I could before, right? Like, yeah, I mean, I can. Now. What path do you want? I can make Anubis. I see. A strong persona, indeed. You okay with this? Oh, I should make Mothman. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, but I like both these guys a lot. But I should probably make Mothman. It's gonna be level 40 something. Select the skills you'd like to inherit. Buy back one of the other guys, I guess. Um, let's do. Shit. Here's Mazianga, so let's do this. Um, I probably don't need Bufula. Receive a great tip now for a rebirth. Please don't fuck up, though. Didn't fuck up. I mean, Mothman. Okay, I have to go buy uh, the big meatball guy. But not impressive. You okay with this? Damn, I guess. Then I don't have Garu, but I guess that's alright. Select the skills you'd like to inherit.
It will receive some new, then let us begin. Which palace are you doing right now? I am in the middle of Futaba's. I have to uh, break into her room. This is my second playthrough of the game. I played it through once on an easier difficulty, but now I'm on worse. This. These are the paths you have walked. I think I deleted all the DLC persona except for that one. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't delete that one. Hello, I'm like 34. Is this what you lack patience? Is this what you lack patience? Relax. This persona? Such rude. Is this what you want? Such rudeness. Is this what you want? I actually don't need this. Uh, I kind of need Bufu. I don't know, maybe I'll just... Are you finished? What? Oh no, I meant to do I'll just go back. No slacking off! So yeah. Don't pass out, okay? Please head to the exam room. Okay, which one? Are you tired? You want that one? There you go. That should work. Thanks. Take care. Hmm? charge into Futaba's room. Charming There's no point bats. thinking it over now. Well, I got the calling card, so right, let me know when you decide. Cage? This is different from past cases. We'll be handing the calling card directly to Futaba yeah, herself. Once we give it to her, we'll head straight into her palace. There won't be any time for prep work in between. So make sure you're ready beforehand. We didn't even see the treasure. I guess it's alright if I do this. I'll, I'll have like 20 days of free time afterwards, but. Let's do a request from I'm just kind of curious. I have two requests that I still have. Usually I like to wait until I at least have three. Alright, let's just set up this. Are you sure once Utaba sees the calling card, we'll need to head straight into her palace? Is that. Oh, so you're set on doing this? Looks like it's my turn to unlock the entrance. Forgive me, Chief. How will we convince Futaba to let us into her room, though? 
Even bosses forbidden entry. Uh -huh. What? You don't got anything? Don't worry, I have a plan. You know a method? I think it's quite straightforward. Futaba doesn't know what we're doing inside her palace, correct? Hence, if we tell her we've come to steal her heart, she'll surely open the door and let us inside. Wait, that's it? Futaba wants to have a change of heart. After all, she contacted us for that express purpose. That desire should lead her to open the door as well. You're right. Our feelings should get through if we just try and talk to her. All right, I believe in Futaba. Come on, let's get this done. Yo, you don't even know Futaba, fam. An eyeball? What's this? Huh. When did it get on here? Oh, she's going in the shit herself. Whoa, whoa! Who are you? I am the other you. Is this some kind of hallucination? It's different from usual. How long will you continue blaming yourself and shutting yourself away from the world? Blaming myself for what? For your mother's death. Don't you think it's time you grasp the truth of that moment? What happened before your eyes? Yeah, you're not gonna question at all this weird pharaoh version of yourself talking about how your, your inner demons and shit. What happened to your mother? We're just, gonna, we're just gonna listen. The truth. Why did you choose to rely on the Phantom Thieves? That's... Are you simply going to shut yourself yeah, in and do and nothing? Are you going to avert your eyes from the true answer? It's a Bible <sighs> If so, I will kill them in your world. Huh? I... What should I do? We're sorry for sneaking in so many times, boss. There's no mistaking it. This is the same door as in the palace. Hello, Futaba. You're there, aren't you? Please, answer us. I doubt she'd answer. Alibaba, we Kick know it. you're there. Kick it. it doesn't matter if it's through chat messaging, just answer us. You should have told me you were going to come here. We can't change Check your heart me. otherwise. Please let us in. The other you within your heart told us to have you open it. Deep. Right. We're trying to uphold our promise, but you're the one resisting us. Time. Ten seconds. Shit. That's too short. At least minutes, please. Fine, but if boss comes home, we'll kick down the door and enter if we must. Time's up, Alibaba. We need to change her cognition. Better to be completely safe than sorry. So she has to be the one to invite us in. Futaba, please open the door. All right, let's go in. What is this? Medical science. Information technology, yeah, biology, psychology. Wait, these are all technical books. She keeps herself cooped up in a room like this all the time? Where's Futaba? Those brain scans? Where could she be hiding? The closet? She'll shut herself in to the bitter end, hmm? Even if that door's opened up, we'll get stopped again inside. I bet a fence or something formed right in front of the treasure now. This, this makes no sense! Explain yourself! Whoa, she talked! We needed to change your cognition. Unless we do so, we can't steal your heart. I highly doubt she would understand it, even if we explained it to her. So basically, my cognition is being a hindrance, keeping you away from the core of my cognitive world? Huh? She understood it? Uh, so basically, the, the core Why do you know about that? Who are you? 
Why'd you call yourself Alibaba and make things more complicated? If you wanted help, you could have just asked for it. I was embarrassed. Huh? Oh, m my bad. I didn't catch that. Because <sighs> I was embarrassed. I think I get it. Asking someone for help isn't that easy. Futaba, can you tell us more? How do you know about the cognitive world? Because I knew about it. Oh, that reminds me. Boss was talking about cognition or something before, right? You think this is related to how he was getting grilled by that one lady? Perhaps her mother was researching this cognitive science that was mentioned? Cognitive science with a PSI in front? Less science, more supernatural? That's important. Well, that certainly got her attention. It seems we're on the right track. So, cognitive... science? A science. Futaba, what was your mother working on? Please tell us. What happened? She's not answering. Yo, maybe save this for later? Suffocated. Seems she's been through some serious shit, so, you know. True. She did say things like, die. Hold on. Futaba-chan, did you really kill your mother? Whoa, you moron! Wasn't her death an accident? What actually happened? Maternity neurosis? Is that really true? On. We saw what your heart is like, but we still can't figure anything out. The mother that Boss told us about is completely different from your cognition. I wish I what he said about it. We want to hear the truth from your mouth. My, my mom was... My mom was... Uh, one who killed her was... Uh, it's possible that she can't remember because her heart has become distorted. I'm so sorry, Futaba-chan. It's just that... I went through a lot myself, and I... I'm sorry. There! Now steal it! What's gotten into you all of a sudden? C come on! Hurry it up! We did come to steal your heart, but it it's not really done right here at this moment. All you really had to do was... Open that closet door. I'm sorry we made you jump to conclusions. You don't have to be like that. I see. She went back in! What's the meaning of this? Did, did you guys trick me? No, please listen. There's a reason we had to do this. She's aware of the cognitive world. But it seems she doesn't understand how a change of heart occurs. Um, Futaba, how much do you know about the cognitive world? I know that there's another world based on cognition, but I don't know how to get there. Can you guys go there? You said you saw my heart earlier. Yes, that's right. How do you do it? We use a smartphone app. An app? Yes. By entering the required information, we can go to the cognitive world. A name, a place, and a distortion. Those three. So in this case... Futaba, you don't happen to... Uh, I don't. Thank goodness. But she does. Okay, then. Can you take me with you, too? Why would she lie? Why are you even asking? Of course she can't come with us. I'll leave it to you, then. Good. And you better not forget about our promise, all right? Oh, yeah! Almost forgot. The treasure's not gonna appear if we don't ever read this. Hmm? A calling card? It's the one you prepared. Read it. I can't read it. It's too dark. You could just come out. It's embarrassing. What? I'll make sure she reads it, so you guys go on ahead. Hutawa, make sure you read it, okay? Oh, well, that's already okay. established that she doesn't care about Morgana. Or maybe, I guess, Morgana's a stealth man. Let's see. Futaba Sakura has committed a great sin of drowning in sloth. 
Thus, we will rob every last bit of those distorted desires. <sighs> No, I'm going to die. Good. Ah! Kitty, you again? Save before the actual fight. <laughs> it's kind of shitty. Huh? No, actually, I'll do it. Yeah. I'll fucking, I'll just do it. Go for two hours, fifteen minutes. I can, yeah, I'll just do it. 